Now, immunotherapy, just like chemotherapy, has potential side effects, but these side effects are completely different. So we don't typically see the low blood cell counts or the nausea and vomiting that we see chemo with chemotherapy, but the immune cells can attack any organ of the body, and we can't predict when it happens. The most common one attacked is the thyroid. So patients will get potentially hypothyroidism on this treatment. Treating hypothyroidism on immunotherapy is pretty easy. We can just give a thyroid supplementation pill, levothyroxine. Patients may also get a skin rash. For skin rashes, we can often do steroid creams and continue treatment. But some of the side effects are even more serious. For example, diarrhea if the immune cells attack the gut. In this case, we often have to give steroids to cool down the immune system. Other serious consequences that we see are abnormal liver enzymes if the immune cells attack the liver, or pneumonitis, meaning inflammation in the lung, if the immune cells attack the lungs. But the immune cells can attack any organ in the body, including the heart, the pancreas, the kidney, but all of these are quite rare. And on the whole, immunotherapy is actually very well tolerated. Another side effect to keep in mind with abelumab maintenance therapy is an infusion reaction that sometimes happens. Your doctor will often give pre-medications, for example, Benadryl and Tylenol, to prevent this reaction from happening, which happens in the infusion center on the day of treatment. 